Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Saturday, February 29th. Yep, it's a leap year. And it's leap day or whatever. <laughs> it's 9.42 a.m. Okay, first I want to share with you my sweatshirt that I painted. I, I get them extra big. This is a 2X and a unisex. So look, it's huge, I know, because I normally wear it over another shirt. <laughs> when it's cold and I put live right or get left <laughs> it's fun when you want to be creative you might as well do it for the Lord right okay first before I share this channel and content with you I want to tell I want to ask you a question okay I was downstairs talking to one of the employees telling her that I was expecting a package from the UK and I said, how many hands do you think that's gone through? <laughs> and she said, oh, first a bus, this and that, and a plane, and then another truck, and then a, a car, and then a truck, and then a little truck. <laughs> she said, probably a lot. I said, do you think I should spray it down with Lysol when I get it? <laughs> and I was, <laughs> she said, now you stop that right now. He's got us. Uh, and I didn't even know she was one of us. <laughs> but I was, it's more like precautionary. And I thought, yeah, I believe that too. I said, I, I, I have a YouTube ministry and I preach, uh, I tell everybody, I said, I tell everybody to pray, uh, to learn and recite Psalm 91 every night, I said, and I believe that. And she said, well, there you go. Just You tell them that you just had a little weak moment, but, but you're okay now. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> but is that a weak moment, or is that using common sense? I mean, we have our faith, and we... We know if we pray over our food, the Lord is going to purify it and make it okay. And your water. Don't forget to pray over your water and beverages that people offer you. Even if it's a quick little quiet to yourself because you're at their home. Pray over whatever you're given. Now, that is... Would you consider that a precaution? Would be washing our hands, not touching our face, all this advice we're being given? Can we just forgo that and say, oh, Jesus is going to take care of me. I don't need to wash my hands or touch my face. I don't need to worry about it. I don't need to wear a mask. I'm not going to get it. Is that the right attitude? Or sh can we throw caution to the wind and expect the Lord to do it all? When has he ever done it that way? Don't we always have to do our part? In the word of God, it says, if you do this, then I'll do that. If you do this, then I'll do that. So I'm wondering if taking precautions is really showing a lack of faith. I'd like to know what you think. At what point do we draw the line because of faith? At what point do we not worry about it? Okay, that's just a question I wanted to throw out because that came up. Now I want to share with you someone you might already watch. And the channel is called GS News. It's Grand Supreme News, but it's shortened to capital G, capital S, capital N, EWS. Small EWS. Okay, for those of you who can't see the description box, it's G S N E W S. All right. 
And he says, um, official Grand Supreme News website. All right, he's got all kind of links down here. He's got a second channel. He's got a website. Uh, Bitly, what's that? Maybe another website. Anyway, so he's got several sites. GrandSupremeNews.net But there's... What I was looking for down here was his source. <laughs> okay. he's tell It's called Something Big is Coming Dash Biblical Battle. All right. And on the front, at the first screen, it says, Have no fear. Christ is near. All right, he is telling us about how Turkey, here, let's play it for just a minute, because I don't want to get this part wrong. My name is Lewis, today is February 28, Sorry. 2020, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we got some breaking news updates coming out of Turkey, and it seems like Turkey just completely shut down their internet. Uh, I believe something big is coming. Uh, we already know what happened between Turkey and the Syrian forces. Uh, multiple Turkish uh, military soldiers uh, were taken out. So it seems like some kind of event is coming. So Turkey and social media blackout amid fears of all-out war in Syria. I believe something big is coming. From what I heard, uh, Turkey is giving Russia up till March the 1st to get out get out because things are gonna get bad and uh, they're giving a huge warning to Russia now I first okay so it was Turkey they told Russia get your stuff and get out or what he says uh, Turkey in social media blackout amid fears of all-out war in Syria and he is saying that surely this is going to get the United States involved. Russia will be involved. This will be involved. That will be involved. Well, it could be. But I'd like to know his source. I've watched this guy several times. Um, that would be a good question for him. He put this up the 28th. Okay, so the first is tomorrow. So... I just wanted you all to be aware. You can go. This is only 10 minutes long. You can go listen to the rest of it. And he shows all the different internet providers or whatever that's blacked out. How they do that, I'm not sure. But when you're a communist country, I reckon you can do whatever you want. We're supposedly a democratic country, but I know for, we all know they could shut us down in, in a second. We're no different. We're really not any different when you think about it. But, um, I don't know. There's a lot happening. I just cannot see us being here very much longer can you I mean I keep thinking of Luke 21 36 pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the son of man what things are coming to pass? Well, you can read Luke 21, Matthew 24, and I forget which channel, or channel, chapter it is in Mark. There, there isn't a chapter in John that talks about uh, what's going to happen right before Jesus comes. But Matthew definitely reads like it's for the Jews. Pray that your escape be not in the winter or on a Sabbath because they've got to run. That could, that could be talking to the, I mean, that could be, that, how do I want to say this? The day we're raptured when all 
chaos breaks loose, perhaps is the day they got to run. Run for safety. Maybe to Petra. I don't know. But I'm sure the Lord will lead them. If he's intending to gather them and protect them, he's going to lead them. There are some prophets over there. We know that. Little Nathan, how old was he? 12, 14, something like that. Uh, yeah, there are several. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I'll put the link in the description box. And um, you can hear about that. Because, see, the, I've been more focused on the, you know, the flu thing that's going around. And all the different rumors about what's happening with that. Uh, I have some videos to check out actually several and I won't get to them all and I'm sorry if I can't get to your emails as quickly as I would love to but I can't just do emails and not do videos or vice versa right I mean or can I you know I could do a lot better with videos if I didn't have so many emails so Y'all kind of think about that before sending so many. Okay. Um, those who do. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you my view in my new place. I'm going to see if it'll, if you can see it. Okay. This is my double window here that I'm sitting in front of. Maybe it'll turn out. I don't know. This is Southside Birmingham. But really, it's uh, close to downtown. Very close. And look at the skyline. Look at that. If you can see it, everywhere you look, there's the hills. But then it plateaus out and it's flat all the way around. And that is far away. And I just wondered how far away can you be before it starts curving. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know I'm a flat earther. Anyway, I'll let it, I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video, and because he gives uh, this this is like eight minutes of news and two minutes of preaching. And I love the way he ends it, and I hope you'll watch it and share it with anybody that's got a doubt about where we're at, about what's going on, and if they don't have Jesus in their life, you might want to send them this little short video. Okay, so I plead the blood of Jesus. Not my video, his video. Send him his video. Okay, I plead the blood of Jesus over... This video, the internet connection over myself, over you, your devices, and all your internet connections. So we can stay connected until we're out of here. Okay, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.